You see the most recent news that bacteria in the mouth can be linked to colon cancer? Let's break down what that means. Okay, I'll put the full name of the bacteria right here, but it's, we'll call it F. nucleatum for short. So doctors have started researching this bacteria because they started finding it in colon tumors and colon cancer, which didn't make sense because usually they thought this bacteria could only survive in the mouth and it wouldn't make its way down to the colon. Now, F. nucleatum is more likely to be found in patients with periodontal disease and gingivitis. I've talked about this before, but this is why you don't give your children and your babies pacifiers after you put them in your mouth or spoons after you put them in your mouth because you can pass on all the bacteria in your mouth to your baby. So if you have periodontal disease or gingivitis, you're more likely to have F. nucleatum in your mouth. Now, we know that bacteria in the mouth is linked to heart disease, heart issues, and it can affect the longevity of your life. So this news coming out that the bacteria found in your mouth is also found in colon cancer means that there most likely is a link between bacteria in your mouth contributing to these types of cancers. But to sum it up, they basically found that it is able to survive in acidic environments, which your stomach is very acidic, and make its way to your colon. So what you can do to help, go to your dentist every six months, make sure you floss every day. Flossing helps prevent periodontal disease, which helps prevent the likelihood of you having F. nucleatum in your mouth. And ask your dentist about these findings at your next appointment. I hope this helps.